Okay, so let's have a look at compound interest. So what is compound interest? So this is when the interest is added back to the principal and then a new principal is calculated. So the principal is earning interest. So let's say we want to save 3,000. The 3,000 is earning interest and so too is the interest. So a person saving money using compound interest will earn more interest. So let's have a look and see what this means by using an example. And we're going to use the same example that we used for simple interest. So John saves 3,000 euro at a rate of 10% and he's going to save it for three years. But this time he's going to use compound interest. Right. So if we use this formula here, the principal multiplied by the rate, that's going to give you the new interest. And remember up here, the interest is added back to the principal, and then a new principal is calculated for next year. So principal for year two is going to be the original principal, which is 3,000, plus the interest. So let's see what that actually means. So year one, principal multiplied by the rate, so it's going to be 3,000. And we're going to multiply that by 10%. And that's going to give us 300 euros. So if you check in your calculator, 3,000, multiply that by 10, divided by 100, will give us 300. So in year one, the interest is going to be 300. So with compound interest, what do we have to do? We have to add this interest back onto the principal for year two. So principal year two is equal to principal plus the interest. So in here, principal year two is equal to 3,000 plus 300. So year two then, we're going to start that with, so 3,000 plus 300 is equal to 3,300. So year two, the principal is going to be 3,300 multiply by the rate so following this here is 10 percent so that's going to give us so 3300 multiply by 10 divide by 100 so that's going to give us 330 and then we have to find out the principal year three and how do we do that we're going to take the principal for this year which is 3300 plus 330 which is the interest for this year and that is going to give us so 3300 plus 330 it's going to give us 3630 so 3,630 is now our principal for year three. We're going to multiply that by 10% because it's the rate. And let's see how much interest you earns here. So multiply by 10, divide by 100. And he earns 363. And the last thing we need to do then is find the total interest. So how much did he actually earn for the three years? So it's going to be these three figures, 300 plus 330 plus 363. You're going to add those three up and that's going to give you the total interest that he earns. So 300 plus 330 plus 363. And that's going to give us 993. So 993. And his total interest that he's earned. And if we compare that to the simple interest where he only earns 900 for the three years, remember it's the exact same example, we get two different figures. Because if you look up here, the principal is earning interest and so too is the interest. So we're adding on the interest each year onto the principal, so we're kind of increasing our interest each year.